Hey guys, so we're here on a Siemens Spree running B19 software. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how to edit, um, copy, and um, paste the protocol. So first we're going to go to Examine Explorer here. That's where you're going to find all your protocols. So when you click this, it's going to come here. So you'll have your user section, that'll be for you. And then you will have your Siemens section here, that'll be for you guys to pull from. So here and here. So easiest way is to come over here and start building your protocols. Now, sometimes it's nothing here, and that's okay. When you click on this box, you'll be able to activate this side, and you can come down here, you can right click, you can go new, you can name a protocol, <clears throat> and then within that protocol, you can name the next, let's say right or left, right? or left or without or with or without whatever is your preference then you click in here now this is where you're going to actually drop in your protocols so what we're going to do here or sequences I should say you will go up find your sequence let's say we wanted to do a new left and right let's say shoulder we'll go into the shoulder we have sessions here where we got what's general and these are just sequences that were generally done at the time where these sequences and this program came out. It's our program sequences here. And then under here, in each one, you'll see where you see library. And under library is where you can find a breakdown of each sequence here. So there goes a the localizer, there goes a T1, you hold the T1s that they have in your street. Now, if you can't find something that you need, you always can go to another file just remember these are t1s and so t1 spin echo t1 turbo spin echo we can choose the directions at any time we want to choose it and sometimes you'll have a label that say fast sat here but we always can add a fast sat if we need to so let's say we just want to do something pretty standard something general just to start out here so we would take what we want and we will copy it by right clicking and then hitting copy and we can highlight more than one at a time. And we'll go to where we want to drop it, right? We'll right click and paste. Oh, sorry about that. I needed one more step. Um, you can call this right without, so you may have a without and a with or without, sorry about that. When you see this little, little character here, you know that is the next section for the actual sequences to go. So you have three. Boom, boom, and then boom. And then, of course, you can have right, and within the right one, you can have with and without, without, whatever you want to name it, routine. So here goes where we drop. Drop a localizer here. You can go in, go back over here. You can drop maybe, and it's asking, because I'm clicking, my program is modified. Do I want to save it? Yes, I want to save that localizer down there that we dropped in. So we can go here. We can go get a stir. And you notice it's stir because of the I and the R for inversion recovery. So let's say I just want to go get a stir for the, the shoulder that I'm creating. Go back down and then right click and drop it here. So anytime you can always hit save. And then you have under new, you have built a new without protocol. Now, anytime you want to edit any of your protocols, you literally find your protocol that you want to edit. You just open it up. You open up which one. You see what's in it. And then here you can edit from here. You can pull, you can right click, properties, rename. You can tell it how you want it to start. Do you want it to wait for you to set it up or do you want it to start running on its own like a localizer? Um, if you have breath holes, you can do a wait for user to start on a measurement. Um, or if you have the feature and it's turned on and everything's plugged up, you'll have breath holes for that sequence. Auto load just means it's going to load to your um, stamp segments, which are the little segments here, or you're going to load it to your graphic segments, which are up here. And if you need to copy one, so if I had another stir, I could always set click this, and then I could copy whatever I have and choose what I want to copy. So it's pretty much how you can set up this and drop it in. So. Another thing I want to show really quick before I get let you guys go is if you wanted to just 
start without doing a new, this is one thing I like to do a lot too. If I know I'm gonna build a brand new female pelvis, let's say I'm not gonna use what's in this one, I see what's inside of it, so there's nothing in there already. Let's say we had some stuff inside of it. Let's find something that we have something that's, there we go. This has stuff, okay. So let's say we wanted to take a foot and you wanted to make a brand new study. So you could right click it and hit copy and you can right click and paste the whole exam, okay. It won't save us the same name, but it'll always give you a C001 on the end. You can rename it to what you want. Let's say if you want it to be within this one and you needed a specific foot just for one doctor. And so you want it to copy um, this one to just be a regular foot sequence. And inside of this, have this. But your doctor wants to add one thing to it. <clears throat> so you could come to this level. You could copy the whole left foot, copy and paste, and then you could recall this Dr. Whoever, Dr. Who today. Hit OK. Now you have two. This one automatically has your foot in it, and now you can add in a specific sequence for Dr. Who. And again, to do that, you would just go to whatever sequence you need it. You would just go find it. And then you just add it in. And I'll show you one more quick time. So if we needed to go get, let's say, a specifically a T1. And you said, you know something? I have to make a T1 fat set. Okay, cool. So we'll go grab a T1 fat set, right click on it, and copy it. Remember, it doesn't matter if it's a coronal sagittal because we can always change the plane. <clears throat> and I grabbed it from the knee protocol, not the foot protocol. In case you guys are like, well, why didn't you grab it from there? It's all good because I'm gonna paste that. And there goes our T1. We had one here, which we really could have copied, but let's say we need to create one. I wanted to copy this Corona T1, so I'm just gonna right click on it, go to properties. I'm just gonna put a copy reference on it really quick. I'm just gonna copy the slices and boom. So this one had 154 and one. This one is running a 160, so it probably was a little different, but it's all good. So that's how you copy one and throw it in. You can rename it to whatever you want. All right, when you're done with it, just save it. And when you're done with this screen, you can just close it, just like that. If you need to delete something, because I'm definitely gonna delete one. You go back into it, you find the level, and you always work from over here to delete. When I try to come on this side, sometimes it won't work for me. This is fine, I was doing leading on this side, but I always work from the right side, because I like the list. It's maybe just a preference for me, but I'm just gonna go and delete, and that's it. All right, hope you enjoyed, peace.